One of the most common sources of problems when you're first building Cordova apps is getting the configuration of your system just right. It's easy to maintain and keep things going once you have it working once all the way through, but that initial setup, there's a lot of different points of failure, so I wanted to go through some of the most common ones here, talking about how to set up the um, Android Studio and Java Developer Kit, Node, the environmental variables. Now, my initial video that I had, the introduction to Cordova, I talked about a lot of these things. Um, I'm going to put a couple of markdown files in the comments for this video, so you've got the links to Android Studio, to the JDK, to Node, so you can download those. Those are fairly simple. You just download and install the files. With Android Studio, you get the SDK. Now, after you've got the SDK in installed, there are a bunch of environmental variables that you have to set up, and that's the focus of this video. So inside your environmental variables, you need to have one called Android SDK root, one called Java home, one called path. Now I've got Android home listed here as well because that's one of the older versions. With the older versions of Android Studio and when you were setting it up, Android home used to be the name of the variable. Now, if you've got both, it doesn't matter. It doesn't break anything. So having both is not a bad thing. But we need to have the location where the SDK folder resides. That needs to be inside your environmental variables. Java home, the location of your JDK folder. Then the path, this is what Windows uses, it's also what uh, OS X uses, to locate programs. If you're on the command line, so if I've got my uh, command prompt up here, and I'm going to run a program called Bubba, and I hit enter, you know, this is the message that I get. It's not recognized as a program. All that means is I do not have a program called Bubba that is found inside any of the folders that are listed inside my path variable. When I want to run a program, Windows goes to path, OS X goes to the path variable, looks through the list of all the different folders there and says, hey, do you have this program in any of those folders? If it does, it launches it. If you don't, it can't. So, to test and make sure that I've got all the environmental variables set up, I'm going to say Java and then just dash version. This is just testing to see if I've got Java installed. Yeah, great. I've got Java installed. There's the version number. Javac, which is the Java compiler. Something else that I need to build Android apps. Okay, great. I've got both things installed. So, I've got the Java home variable defined and the path includes my Java home portion. Uh, I want to check and see if I've got node installed. Node-V checks for the node version. Great. Uh, NPM, I can check for the version of that as well. Um, oh, that's an old module that I've got. I don't need to worry about that one, but I do have node and NPM installed. Uh, we've got the ADD, Android Debug Bridge scroll back up to the top here. I'm just getting a whole bunch of basically help dialogues. ADB was my command and Android Debug Bridge. This is how I'm supposed to use it. So if I get a message like this, not the, hey, I don't recognize that command, then you're okay. AVD Manager. That works. Great. Okay, so I'm good. I've got ADB. I've got ADV Manager. I've got Java, Javac, Node. All those things are installed and working. If I've got all those things, then I should be good to go. But there's a few little places along the way as you're building your Cordova projects, as you're compiling them, things can go wrong if we're still missing some of the variables from the path. So inside the path, we want to have this list of things. Android SDK root or Android home, either one, doesn't matter. This is just how you write out a variable if I was to go back to my command prompt, clear the screen, and just echo Android SDK root with the percentage signs around it, there it is. This is the value that I have for this variable right here inside my root, uh, the root folder of the C drive. I have a folder called Android, inside that the ADT bundle, 
put the date and then SDK. This is the folder that I have. If I was to echo out path, there we go. These are all the things that I have inside of my path. Down here at the bottom, app data roaming NPM. That's another one that I've got right here. This is one that NPM uses. This is the global location where NPM installs all the modules. Like Cordova, we install globally. This is the place where it does it. Um, note, we want to have that installed uh, or its location inside the path. Java Home, where the JDK is, we need to add bin onto the end of it, the binary folder. This is where the Java programs are. For Android itself, we need the emulator, tools, tools bin, platform tools, and build tools. Now, this is a new one. It replaces one of the other folders that, from the earlier versions. But if you're doing this now, these are the paths that you should have inside of there. So how do we get there? How do we set those variables? Well, if I've got Windows Explorer up, then I go to my PC, this PC, right click and go to properties. That's going to bring up the properties window for the system. And I want to go to advanced system settings. Click on that. Brings up the system properties dialog and here, environmental variables. That's the thing that I want to set. So here we have Android Home, Android SDK Root, Java Home. Those are all defined here. And if I scroll down a little bit, path. Here it is. If I click on edit, this is going to bring up the list of everything that was inside of there. This is what I echoed out was all this stuff. So we've got platform, Android Home, Platform Tools, Emulator. As I was saying, you can use Android Home or Android, Android SDK Root. As long as you've got it defined, these are both pointing to the same thing, whether it's Android Home or Android SDK Root, they point to the same folder, or they should point to the same folder. Java home slash bin. There's my NPM folder. Down here at the bottom, uh, there's Node.js. That's where I have it installed. If you have it installed in a different place, then you're going to have a different value. You have to make sure that you're installing, or you're rather you're putting the proper location for where you have these things installed. When you download and install Android Studio, when you download and install the JDK, you get to choose where you're putting those files. Node, you get to choose where you're putting those files. So you should make sure that you've got the proper values for those folders. If I go in here, oops, back into Windows Explorer, I go to the C drive, I have a folder right here at the root. This is where I installed Node. So this is where I installed MongoDB, no, MongoDB and MAMP. I didn't go inside of program files to do it. I did it right here at the root. Android, I also put right at the root. Just, I like to type less. I like it to make it easy to find these things. So I tend to put them at the root. But these aren't the default locations. So your paths, values, will very likely be different than the ones that I've got. And that's okay, as long as you have the proper paths inside your variables. So when you are setting all these values, make sure you've got the right ones. So if I go back in here, Android, there's the bundle. Here's the SDK. So inside here, there's build tools. There's emulator. There's tools. These are the folders that we're pointing to. I can click up inside the location bar here. Control C to copy. And then back in here, I can control. So if I said new, control V. Oh, that wasn't the one that I copied. C to copy, new, control V, there we go. So I could add that path like, like this. Now I've already got this one inside of here, so I don't need to, but this is how I would add something in here. Or I can select something and say edit. There we go. Change it to something else. Okay, so I don't want to save that. I'll hit cancel. But there's the path. Now we've got system and we've got user variables. These are both environmental variables. And I can put my Java Home, my Android SDK root, my Android Home, and my path up inside here, or down inside here, or I can have it in both. It's basically just the system looks at the two places. These are the ones that are applied to everybody. These are the ones that are applied when you log into your account on Windows. 
these ones are loaded in addition to the system variables. So you've got both of them there. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need to know in order to set up Cordova for Android on Windows. So, best of luck with that. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.